Come on, back up. Back up. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. If you watch my video on reinstalling Mac 3, you'll understand the importance of having a backup. Without a backup, it would have taken me days, if not weeks, to reinstate Mac 3 back to how it was. That's even assuming I could remember how it was before and how I'd managed to get it like that in the first place. It probably wouldn't be until I wanted to use a feature and found that it didn't work that I would have realized I had something wrong. So by spending a minute or two now, you can save yourself many, many hours of heartache later on. Let's have a look at how you do it. So I'm gonna back up Mac 3 onto this USB stick I have here. I've already pre-labeled it so that I don't lose it. We'll plug it in and as you can see, it is blank. I'm now going to navigate to the C drive and find the Mac 3 folder. I'll right click and go copy. I'll go back to the Mac 3 backup USB drive and I'll paste it. Now that the copying is complete, let's have a look at what is in this folder. We have here our bitmaps folder. Now, if you're running a custom screen like I am, you'll have another folder in here which has the screen set. Also in here, uh, the custom splash screen that I have for my machine. Next I have plugins, and here are the two smooth stepper plugins I use for my machine as well at some stage I've backed up some of the older smooth stepper plugins that I've now stopped using. If we come down further we'll see here hybrid.xml and that is the profile file for my machine when I'm using it as a three axis router and I have here hybrid rotary axis x.xml which is the profile file I use when I'm using my machine with its rotary axis. This one here also hybrid underscore aluminium dot set is another part of the custom screen set and this along with the folder inside the bitmap folder make up my screen set files. A little bit further down here we have mac one lick dot dat and that's my license file for Mac 3. And they are the critical files I need to back up. That said, it's just a lot easier to grab the entire folder and drop it onto my drive. If you do that, you can then use the same process I showed in my previous video on restoring Mac 3 to reinstate it. Now, this is really the critical file you have, but there's no reason we shouldn't make life a bit easier for ourselves. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Shortcut. And I'm going to grab off my screen here these three files here and these two here. And I'm just going to copy them into my new Shortcut folder. So that's given me a shortcut to the E drive, which is where I access the files on this USB stick here. This is the one I use to transfer files from my laptop inside the house to the laptop out here in the workshop. They have my cutting files on it. I have the two shortcuts to start Mac 3, be it my three axis router or when I want to use it as a rotary axis. I also have here a shortcut into the Mac 3 folder on the C drive and here the Mac 3 sc screen editor program that I use occasionally if I want to make modifications to my custom screen. Now while I don't need to actually save these here it will make life a lot easier and quicker to reinstate 
should I need to at a later date. Now that I've got these two folders set up, that's about all I can collect off my machine. However, there's no reason I shouldn't make life even easier for myself. I'm going to pop inside and download some files off the internet. I'll come back out and show you what I've put on it. So here are the two folders that I downloaded off the internet. The first is my Mac 3 software. And here it is. This is the version of Mac 3 I'm running. The other one is the USB driver I need for my smooth stepper. Now while I could download these two files off the internet at the time my machine crashes, it's far easier if it's already sitting on the USB stick ready for me to access. The other one is a Windows Update file. This is Service Pack 3 for Windows XP. Since Microsoft no longer supports Windows XP, and the disks I've got to reload are only Service Pack 1, I've downloaded now the version of Windows Service Pack 3 so that I know where it is. Everything I need is in one place on my USB stick for me to install when and if the need arises. So what if I can't remember what version of Mac 3 I'm actually running? Well, it's easy to find out. Simply start Mac 3 and navigate up here to help. Go about Mac 3 controller and there's the version I'm running. If I want to check out what plugins I'm running and maybe download those plugins from their uh, original sources, in this case I'm running a plugin for Smooth Stepper, there it is there. I can see I'm running version 17FE. So I can go along to the Smooth Stepper website and download that. Now the other thing I might need to know with regards to my Smooth Stepper is what particular driver version I'm using for it. So if I come up here to System, Hardware and Device Manager, and of course the various flavors of Windows have different ways of getting here. But I want to come down to Universal Serial Bus Controller and I can see my Smooth Stepper. Double click on that and go to Driver and there it is there. I'm using 2.8.30. I'll close these windows. And if I navigate to my USB disk, Mac 3 software, you can see I have downloaded here 2.8.30 and likewise I've downloaded the version of Mac 3 that I was running. If you are running other plugins, other drivers, other softwares, I recommend that you download those for later in Storm should you require them. So is there really an excuse for not making yourself a backup? I don't think so. Why not go and grab a USB stick now, rush out to your machine, and quickly grab that one essential directory you need to grab to ensure that you're covered for the future. Spend a few minutes now and I think you'll appreciate it later on. Let's hope you never need to use it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers! Don't make me tell you again. Back up!